did there come a time in your previous marriage, don't lie to me, because I'll know, I want you to think about this, did there come a time when there was ever any violence in your marriage with your late wife? No. Never? We, we had arguments, but no. Let's get to your claim. The first part of your claim is for £550. What's that for? That's for a segment of a bank loan that I lent Tony to be able to go to his niece's funeral. You borrowed money to give yes, to him? Yes, with a high interest rate. Why would you borrow money that you didn't have to give to Tony? Because he'd lost his niece to a violent disease and from what I'd heard of her, she was a beautiful woman and a loving woman and I thought he deserved to say goodbye. I would want someone to do that for me if I was in that position. And I loved him, so I did what I could to help ease his pain. Your niece passed away as well. Yeah. And where do you live? In Somerset. And so you need to get up to Essex? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. To go to Essex from Somerset and get a coach, it's got something to wear. £100 certainly should do it, albeit on a budget. Why did you need £550 to go to this funeral? I didn't we, uh, we hired a car uh, and uh, stayed in a hotel in Essex and then bought flowers and stuff like that. Didn't you use the money for something else as well? He used it for a haircut, Your Honour. How did the haircut go, Tony? Not very well. He asked for the wrong haircut. Just pause for a second. He asked for the wrong haircut. He was supposed to go in and ask for a number two. And well, just pause. Let me just three. pause for a second. He was supposed to go in and ask for a number two. As far as I can gather, that's exactly what he got. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Your Honour. I promise you, it wasn't. He came out and his hair was still curly. And I was like, you can't go to the funeral looking like that. So what did you look like at the end of this haircut? I thought I looked all right. 